it's uh, the day after the hurricane, part three of this series. It's about quarter to seven now. I just got up a little while ago. And uh, actually, I kept hitting the snooze button. I was sleeping good. And then my boss called. Uh, he didn't call, I text. I want to know what kind of damage my town had. Um, because I went out last night and looked. And shit was kind of fucked up last night. So, uh, I just woke up now. Started the generator. Put some candles. Oh, candles going. Got my fireplace over there. Guess. Guess is king. In a land with no electricity. So, got my fireplace going to warm up the house for the family. It's kind of cold out. I mean, it's not cold, cold, but it's cold when you wake up. Candles. I got my extension cord. You can't see that, but it's going to my coffee pot. Huh. There. This will help. There you go. Got my extension cord going to my coffee pot somewhere down there. Got my refrigerator plugged in. <coughs> uh, only light in the house. Mm. Feels cold. So that's good. And, uh, taking a first look outside without getting blown the fuck away. Now it's still kind of dark out here. Some tree stuff piled up over here. Debris. Ah, look. Sky. Alright. It's still a little breezy, but it's, it's like a cold. October breeze. <laughs> That's part of my gutter. Laying on the ground. <coughs> See, let's go out this way. It's not even 7 o'clock here. I think sunrise is about 7.10 at this point. In my truck. Part of the sky is still pretty fucking cloudy. <laughs> this guy survived. Big scary man. Arr. He's still there. Fucking piece of shit pergola. Broken. Oh well. Um, let's see what else. Oh my god, there's a big lion on the side of my house. Huh. Uh, actually, for the most part, looks like the house survived. Go up and take a look. There's a lot of tree shit down over here. I have a lot of trees over here, too, so. Uh, only when the sun comes up a little bit more, I'll take a look, better look, just so I'm not surprised, take a look at the roof, make sure all the roof tiles are still on, and uh, I guess I'll go from there, oh my poor rose bush, just beat the fuck up, alright, I'll turn this back on when the sun comes up. So, 
sun's up. Time to check out what's going on. You know, my neighbor came over and plugged into the generator. And, uh, my truck looks like a big mess of extension cords right now. Uh, so far nothing I haven't seen already. Need a new tarp for my dump truck. Got a little fucked up. A uh, little bit. Fucking bamboo. If you ever plant bamboo, don't. There's my gutter. I finished knocking that off in a little bit. Yeah. Alright, it doesn't look so bad. A lot of shit laying around. I'm gonna start cleaning up in a little bit. And, uh, but I really just want to check out the rest of the house. See what's going on. I think I got people. You know, this gutter seems like it's starting to pull away too. But it's alive. I think I got people coming over. Little kids, they have no heat. And no electricity, so... I told them if I need to. I'll hook the, uh, I'm going to put the router on in a little bit, and TV, and the plug the dish network in, and get some entertainment going for the little ones, and got the fireplace going. Yeah, I could, oh, well, maybe I can't fix this. No, it doesn't appear that I could fix that. At least not easily. That sucks. I really liked my rose bushes. Alright. Uh, there's a big fucking stuffed animal that I've been talking about that every single shot of you couldn't see because it was pitch black. He survived, unfortunately. Um. Yeah. Let's, uh. I got some limbs down over here. Blocking my path. Hmm. Alright. So. Look like we lost a fence. It snapped the 4x4. Four four. Oh, it did snap the 4x4? Four I four? was here at 3.30 this morning and looked at it and said, oh my god. And they're brand new 4x4s. Four ah, uh, that sucks. Lost the fence. I got all the branches cleaned up. I lost four or five big ones off that tree. Yeah. I'll just hold them around front. I mean... You getting water? No water, Andre. They lost part of their roots, you can see, on the side. I lost. I I didn't get any water either. My sump pump's been dry all night. Yeah, it, no, it never did. That yeah. Never, no, we didn't have the rain. Yeah, I know. I was and it was dry before, too, so... You should see the uh, boats on the bridge. I was down there last night, man. Yeah, you there. couldn't even get down by Yee Cottage Inn. And the fucking tide was like... The other one over near Twin Towers, Marina? Yeah. They're literally on, on the bridge. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Oh. The Blue and Moreland, you can see on one side, there's like 20 of them piled up. There's like three or four on the bridge. Oh, wow. They said the Steamboat Dock Museum is completely... You pause for a minute just to talk to the neighbor. But apparently there's a lot of damage down by the seafront. So, I'm going to head down that way in a little bit, see what's going on. Going to have to fix that fence at some point. And uh, start clearing out these branches. But all in all, it don't seem that bad. Could be worse, I guess. Yep, no zombie apocalypse today. But, uh, I actually want to come back and see this back corner of my house over here. Because, uh, that's where all the fucking, this bamboo is fucking me up. The neighbor's talking about it. He's saying that he see my bamboo blowing down the road last night. <laughs> A couple houses down. Uh, so, everything's piled up over here. Man, this bamboo is resilient shit. Alright. Oh, uh, what?
what the fuck that is. That's a piece of flashing that got peeled back. Oh man, I think I lost some shingles up there too. Motherfucker. Alright, I have to pause to get up on the roof and see what the deal is. Good morning, YouTube. This is Chris, and uh, this is my life when I'm not playing video games. We're going to take a quick ride around the town. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. Uh, hurricane, hurricane, I keep saying Hurricane Irene, I don't know why. Hurricane Sandy came through, and we're going to take a look at the damage. I've been getting reports from my neighbors about the damage. So now it's time to go show you. All right. Got a lot of people down here. Right, the fence is next door. What's going on? Yeah. Hey. I had to come see the boat. Yeah, they're parked up there. Oh, shit. Wow. Everybody, all our neighbors coming down. Take a look at this shit. That's fucking cool. Good time to own a boat. Yeah, this is the bridge that I went over yesterday while I was videotaping. And, uh, there were no boats on the bridge then. What's going on, man? That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. So all those boats that were over here, when I pulled through and I was kind of nervous about fucking a boat rolling over onto me, I guess there was good reason to be. Because now all those boats are gone. And they're... Oh, they're all over. Hey, it's so bad. There's a little bar that... Blows. So much for the bar. There's a boat in the bar. That's people pulling up to the bar to get something with the boat. <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, just stop and talking to the neighbors. Yeah, so, uh, that's, uh, pretty fun. Good shit. Alright. It's amazing that nothing was really, the houses are okay, though. So this is all commercial. They collect insurance. So, uh, decided to park and walk at least to this section of town just uh... because you can't get through, I gotta go around to get to the other side of town and uh... this is another marina and, uh, this is where I was last night they're starting to clear debris out of the roads here so that's pretty cool yeah, that that tree was a water line last night. <laughs> right over here, this tree, right about here, this is about as far as I could get last night. That's all the shit that was floating. And uh, that's that thing that no one could figure out what the hell it was. Still don't know what it is. It's like a toilet paper dispenser. But uh, there's a lot of building debris million buttons on the ground. I don't know where they came from. So, uh, I'm going to cross over past these people and start shooting again. Dock. I don't know how to dock up wedge between the boats there. But, uh, yeah. Pausing at this. Alright, so I walked past that. Wow. That fucking marine is gone. There was a building there at one time. All of it. All the docks. There's still a couple boats down there. I don't know how they... I don't know how those boats actually made it. But, uh... Yeah, there's a fishery with the sandbags in front of it. No more sandbags. Really, that place can fucking... Nah, it's a fishery. 
as long as they dry out their cores, they'll be back in business tomorrow. And, uh, restaurant gone. They had some sandbags here, but no more. Yeah, so much for the restaurant. Yeah. I don't think they're having a special today. Wow. And this is what insurance is for. Good point to pause again. Yeah, I had to start filming for this. That's just fucking water pouring out the ceiling. Just still pouring. Either that or it's a broken fucking water pipe. Could be. Probably a two by four shifted and and the water line broke. That's pretty pretty fucked up. Yeah, this is where I was yesterday, uh, part two of this video. Um, I came down here and was taking a look at uh, the boats rocking. It was pretty windy and the wind was driving into the camera, so... Uh, I, I think you did see a majority of the video, though. But, uh, yeah, water subsided quite a bit now. Um, it's about right back up to where it was uh, a little bit less than where it was when I filmed part two of this yesterday, before the storm hit. So, uh, not, not too many boats are left, though. There's still a couple of boats out there. There's one boat right there. Let's see if you can get that. <laughs> one fucking boat, man. It's like, it looks like it's in pristine condition. Unless he just pulled in this morning and and uh, tied up out there for the meantime. Um, I think there was a small craft advisory yesterday, but still, there were people around jet skiing out in the storm, and I think a couple die-hard boat people took their boats into the middle of the bay, at least, uh, just to navigate the waves. So, there's our local sub shop behind this little uh, pavilion. The uh, backhoes are going past it now, but yeah, there's a little sub and hot dog place here. Let's see. And uh, it's gone. They never made any money in there anyhow, but yeah, it's gone. And then uh, back of the uh, sub shop is uh, <laughs> On. There's a local post office. They moved all their trucks to higher ground. And uh, I think they're salvaging. Salvaging mail at the moment. I don't think they're getting any deliveries in today. But yeah, there's Mike's sub shop. That's another one. And uh, don't look like they're opening today either. It's unfortunate. Just hear water running. It's like uh, no one's been able to get into any of these places or shut off the water mains yet to them. So they just got water running out. Fucking walk in the freezer. The cooler there is just fucked. Just had to catch that. That's not, uh, that's not water supply. That's actual storm drain. And water's just pouring out of it. Um, shows how high the sea level came up. Because, uh, it takes a lot for that much water to come out. There's actual pressure underneath that lid. I mean, that's like a, that's a 60, 70 pound lid right there. This is our brand new restored waterfront here. This was all done not too long ago. Maybe, I think it was uh, two and a half years ago they finished it. 
It looks nice. I mean, it looked good. And it still looks good. A little cosmetic, and uh, but uh, besides that, it looks pretty good. Could have been worse over here. And uh, our, our dock, our, still in good shape, man. Whoever built that did a good job. Oh, some of the fencing is missing. But, uh, it could have been worse. It's still standing. 9-11 Memorial. That's still standing. American Legion. Oh, poor people's houses, man. These are the people that really took the brunt of it. There's a house over here I'm coming up on. And, uh, there's a lot of debris. I'm trying to figure out where all this debris actually came from. Huh. Roofs. There's all sorts of shit down here. I'll turn this back on in a minute. I don't think anyone's going to the bar today. But, it actually doesn't look that bad. There's a car. I'm sure it wasn't parked there. So I'm not quite sure how it got there. But, uh... Yeah, it's more damage. More or less cosmetic siding. I think there's a whole lot of structural. A lot of this is all cosmetic. People picking through stuff. <laughs> Salvaging pictures. bad for people that lose pictures. Pictures are uh, one of those things you cry about once they're gone. Everything else could be replaced. Well, you can't replace pictures. That's the sad part. Yeah, so just uh, taking a walk. Trying to figure out what the situation's going to be like the next couple of days. And, uh, it's kind of fucked up when you come across contractors and they're already talking, I'm a contractor, and, uh, they're already talking about marking shit up and fucking scamming the insurance companies and, you know, that ain't what this shit's about. You got to kind of got a feel for people and, you know, that's, uh, that's not the worst of it right there. That used to be a little boat museum that was here. There's a bar there. That was a boat museum. A couple of little one bedroomers there. And retail on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, Kind of fucked up. Yeah. That's uh, cinder block walls. Just tossed. But then you also have a little picnic table that hasn't even moved. So, it's weird. It's weird how these storms come through like that. Uh, everybody came down to take a look at this shit. Another little point of view. This is the front. Just be a little rental shop. That uh, structure over there in the middle of the road. It used to be a rental shop. You could rent boats and bait and fishing poles and shit out of there. It was over by where that water's streaming out behind those two girls. 
And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, sad. People lost a lot. That makes you think, you know? Oh, it would suck to lose what's really important. I'm sure the people are okay. People starting to board stuff up. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. I'm shutting off the gas main. Tony, man. I, I was up to the first block freaking out in my head. So I'm just walking and trying to take some of this in and thinking to myself, you know, I, there was some authoritative figure around. I'd stop and see, uh, if nothing else, I could get my water keys from the house and start shutting off water to some of these places, you know. Because uh, a lot of them still got water pumping out from broken pipes. But uh, I haven't really seen anyone that uh, of authority. So I don't really know what to do. I'm going to walk down past the police station. Maybe there's someone over there. And uh, I'm already hearing rumors that uh, there's not going to be school for a week. Oh, look, a drum set for the kid. There ain't going to be school for at least a week. But um, I'm just stepping on shit that I'm even, not even paying attention to. So I guess we'll see. Uh, try and figure out. See, there's smart people. You know what? They were prepared. A lot better prepared than I was. But, uh, thank God nothing happened to our house. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find someone. Maybe help out a little somehow down here. And, uh,. I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna handle uh, school and work and everything this week. I think the kid's gonna be going to school with the, uh, going to work with the old lady for the next couple of days until they get school back open. Yeah, so I just got done talking to a cop, and uh, they don't have any freaking clue what's going on. They. Uh, I guess most of them are fucking so new or so green that they really don't know how to handle situations like this, you know. Um, I just offered to go around and start shutting water service off to some of these buildings that uh, have broken lines in them, you know, and just shut them off from the street at least if you could find the street shut off. And uh, oh, they're responsible. Well, they don't know. They don't want no one in the building. I said, who's they? Who's in charge? Well, we don't know yet. So, uh, just, I guess they're still trying to figure out, you know, who's actually going to take control of the situation and uh, where the money's going to come from to make the repairs. But, uh, yeah, after seeing this, and it's starting to get pretty gray out again. They said showers are supposed to start coming through again at some point. So uh, I'm going to go home and uh, see if the uh, satellite came up. I, uh, before I left, I ran the generator over to the uh, satellite dish and the Wi-Fi and the TV so that we could start getting some media and uh, see what the actual situation is. But, uh... I, uh, and, and I'm still supposed to go to work and evaluate different areas of my business which were infected. But, uh, I'll see what happens when I get back to the house. It's like, uh, shit like this is a constantly evolving event. You never really quite know 
what to do until the situation happens. Yeah, I'm a guy though, so figured everybody on YouTube would appreciate that one. <laughs> this still was the part that amazes me. There must have been over a hundred boats in the building and stacked over there. And now you could just see all the way across to the next town. And, uh, yeah, and what I've heard is our town is pretty much the luckiest as far as the coastal sea towns are concerned. So, starting to rain. Head back to the truck and, uh, Give it an update later.